student teaching vlog. It has been an incredible journey here so far at Lumagata City National High School. So let me walk you through the highlights of my fourth week. So we kicked this week off with a lesson on part of the story. I realized the power of springboarding using captivating literary piece entitled for our lesson, The Story of the Aged Mother, to dive into the elements of the story. It was like magic. The students were engaged from the get-go and we had some amazing discussion about plot, characters, and setting, and so on and so forth. But here's the thing that I learned. Modeling is the key. Instead of bombarding them with lengthy instruction, I took the reins and showed them exactly what to do. And you know what? It made all the difference. They were more confident and eager to participate. Now, here's the thing. Here's where things got interesting. Sorry. I was called to proctor the online national achievement test for grade 8. It was a new experience for me navigating an online exam in a face-to-face -face setting, if that's making sense. But with the support of my corporate teacher, we managed to facilitate the test smoothly. Seeing students tackle the test with de determination was inspiring. It, w it reminded me why I chose this path to make the difference into their lives no matter how small. So this week, I found myself immersed in a teaching moment that beautifully aligns with the Philippine professionals and arts for teacher, particularly doing two learning environments, trend tree, management of classroom structure and activities. Modeling the activity oh, before instructing my students showcase a proactive approach to managing classroom activities. By providing a clear demonstration, I ensure that my students understood the task at hand, fostering a positive learning environment and reducing any potential confusion. Witnessing my students' engagement and enthusiasm reinforced the importance of creating a conducive learning environment or atmosphere where every student feels supported and empowered to participate. Furthermore, my experience this week also resonated with domain for curriculum and planning, specifically, specifically strand one, planning and management of teaching and learning process. Facilitating online national achievement tests was an entirely new experience for me, but through effective planning and collaboration with my co-op and teacher, we ensured a smooth and successful execution of the exam, exam despite the challenges of face-to-face -face set setting. Collaborating with experienced education not only enriched my understanding of curriculum planning, but also emphasized the significance of teamwork in achieving our educational goals. So as I reflect on my third, my fourth rather week of student teaching, I'm reminded of the profound impact that each teaching moment has on my professional growth. By aligning my experiences with the Philippine professional standards for teacher, I am confident in my ability to continue nurturing an inclusive and dynamic learning environment for my students. Thank you for joining me on this journey, and I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye!